Hey there, Scorpio. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. How are you? How's the family? I hope everybody's doing all right. We're going to do a general spread with the Grand Lux Tarot, and then we're going to clarify that with the Light Sears Tarot, see what's going on. Keep in mind, we do have cross watchers, so you might have to vice versa the roles or even the gender. And if these messages don't resonate for you, they might be for somebody around you. But if none of the above, just take it as entertainment, okay, you guys? Let's see what's coming through for Scorpio. Peace and thank you, Spirit. Whoa. Queen of Cups. There you are, Scorpio. Queen of Cups. I feel like there's a feminine that's really doing some self-love right now. And I'm talking about, like... Maybe even a makeover. Like, she's really getting some stuff done. She's doing her hair. She's doing her nails. All right. She might even be going through her wardrobe, cleaning out her friends list, drinking out of that chalice. Some of you guys actually have an Ace of Cups um, talisman. I, I, it's not really a talisman, but for some reason, that's what I want to call it. That's so weird. Um, maybe you've got, like, a little necklace or something with, the, with a cup on it, and it's your symbolic Ace of Cups talisman but I'm getting a physical gauntlet right that you have like on a um what's it called an altar in your love corner feng shui yeah somebody's doing something fun with their look, with their style. Maybe you're trying out new makeup. There's definitely like this mermaid vibe here too. Pinks, purples, greens, blues. The lovers. Yeah, self-love. I told you. Told you. Now some of you guys are just in a really great relationship. And you're like, makes me feel like a queen. Or men, I guess. You know, making me feel like a king, <laughs> right? That's beautiful. I feel like this is a gorgeous love. You guys are really, really happy here. Oh, look at the way they're looking at each other. You guys are very fond of each other. There's a lot of respect, trust, openness. I think you guys know each other's downfalls, but you don't use it as ammunition to attack each other, and that's what makes it such a happy couple. You know that each other's been through a lot of shit. You know each other's flaws, so you have patience for each other while working on yourselves and this connection. I like it. I like it a lot. Gemini energy there with that. Oops, sorry. Nine of Cups. Somebody could have lost a child. That did come out in the reverse. There could have been a miscarriage. Um, for others of you, there is definitely something we're celebrating here. This love is one of a kind. You could be pregnant. Somebody could be getting pregnant. Maybe you've uh, got pregnant in Gemini season and you're about to find out as we step into... Or, oh, we're not even at Gemini season yet, are we? <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. I bumped the stand. Getting ahead of myself there now. So, yeah, come Gemini season. You might find out you're pregnant. Five of Wands. Like, you're pregnant now, but the hormone isn't strong enough to pick up on a test yet. I have a wands feeling conflicted. Why do you not want pregnancy? Maybe it's not pregnancy. Not everybody is at the age where they can get pregnant, right? This is about wish fulfillment, though. I don't know what the five of wands is. Is somebody not happy for you? Like, do you have an ex that's starting some shit? Or is this just like the obstacles? Because not every relationship is perfect. And you have your obstacles here and there. So maybe there's a minor obstacle coming up. Because that's a minor arcana. That's not major. Maybe there's a little bit of a, uh, how do I want to say it? Maybe there's a little bit of a wave that you guys have to, oh shit, no, that's a big, huge fucking wave, tower card. Knight of Coins. There could be something that's bringing this love boat to a halt here. I hope not. I really hope not. Hopefully this is just happy that you've, you're have you overcoming the conflict. You're letting go of your anger, right? Something like that. Hopefully that's all it is. Let's see. Let's get into the clarify. Yeah, because you're working together. 
Why is there a third person here, though? There should not be three people. Now I'm noticing in that Nine of Cups, I don't like it, but I'm noticing there's three cups grouped here, there's three cups grouped here, and then there's one, one, one. It's almost like, I don't know, maybe somebody's monogamous or polyamorous, whatever the fuck. They like multiple partners. Polyamorous. Yeah, there's that wave. There's that wave, Scorpio. Um, wow. I kind of want to clarify the tower before I get into anything, right? Let's do that. Let's do five of wands and tower. The fuck is that? The chariot and the knight of wands. Queen of cups. Five of swords. Or, I'm sorry, what the fuck? Lovers? Why did I? Oh, because that was the five of swords. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Damn, that's just coming out for everybody today. Nine of Cups is... Nine of Cups. <laughs> Fuck with that, right? Three of Wands. Whatever this is, I feel like you can overcome it. But it's going to take some... It's like you got to fight for this connection, right? I don't know what the issue is. There is definitely something that needs to end... All right, somebody is clinging to something that it just, you have to let it go. So that everybody can move on happily. Because there is a conflict, there's a problem. Maybe there's somebody that this person hangs out with that it's not that you don't trust your person, you don't trust this motherfucker, right? Um, maybe your person drinks a little bit. All right, um, a little bit too much when you do tend to drink. So maybe you just kind of want them to get that under control a little bit. Or maybe it's you that wants to get that under control. Maybe you drink and they quit and you don't feel right drinking in front of them. So maybe maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know. It's It could be so different depending on your situation. But like that five of swords is somebody saying, I don't want to give up without a fight. I don't want to lose this. Normally the five of swords is somebody that's willing to win at all costs no matter who they hurt. But... What I'm getting here is you're trying to avoid the hurt or work on, eight of pentacles, work on what you need to. So it's like you're willing to fight at all costs to work on this so y'all can move forward back to that happy place, nine of cups, where you were before whatever this shit was, right? Again, moving towards that happiness, that desire, that passion, Maybe somebody had a child and you just got to wait to have sex again. It's not that big a deal. Shut the fuck up. I am not even about to hear that right now. Nope. Sorry, I've had three. <laughs> you don't get to play that card. <laughs> That's not how it works. She gives you a baby, you're asking fucking wait. Go take care of yourself in the bathroom and shut up for a couple of weeks. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. I said it. I said it. Um, but no, I don't know what this is. It's like there's a friend that you don't trust or it's something that your person overdoes because the nine of cups is having more than you need, right? So that could be speaking about overdoing something. Maybe somebody's overspending or maybe you're overspending. You know what I mean? Like there's just, there's something that needs to be worked on. That's all. You can get through this though. We've got Sagittarius, Cancer, um... Scorpio, Gemini, and Scorpio again. Wow. Guys, ooh, 9-11. Yep, taking action. 9-11 on the timestamp there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.